Hey there, welcome to Sakura Dev channel. We have a plain React application here. We have a card component here that it just takes the children as its props and then just render a div with a bunch of Tailwind CSS classes. It has a shadow, a border radius, border, overflow hidden, and just a light gray background. And then it just renders the children inside that div. That's it. So if I go to the app.tsx here, you can see that we have used this card component here and these are the children of the card. So it has an image inside it. It has a P tag, which renders the title of the card. It has a, another P tag, which renders the price. And finally, it has a button element, which is actually an add to cart button. Okay, using this card in this way, does not satisfy the clean code criteria. I don't wanna call it dirty code, but it is actually not a clean and maintainable code, especially if you are using the Tailwind CSS classes in the child of this card component. So in order to improve the maintainability and also the readability of this code, we can use the React compound component pattern. So now we are going to create another card component that uses the compound pattern. And then we are going to compare these two card components and decide which is more maintainable and has cleaner code. So let's get into it. Okay, so I go to the components directory and create another card component and let's Let's name it compound card. Okay, and here I'm going to create a functional component and then let's create an interface for the props of this component. It just has the children as its props. Okay, so now let's take the children from the props of the component. And just like the card component, it is going to render a div and inside that div it renders its children. Okay, so now let's go to the card component and just copy the class name and paste it here in the compound card component. Okay, so far the compound card component is exactly the same of the card component. So if I go to the app.tsx here, you can see that the card component, first of all, has an image element inside it. So let's implement this image element as part of the compound component, but we are going to create it as a separate component that kind of is is the child of the card component. So let's do it in action and you can understand what I mean. But inside the compound card, we're not going to move the image elements inside the main div of the compound card. We are going to create a separate functional component. So I'm gonna say function image and this image component can take the all props of a regular HTML image element. So here I just put a object here and set its type to the IMG attributes and set its generic type to the HTML image element. Okay, so now we can grab the class name and then put the rest inside a object called props. Okay, and then we are going to implement the body of this functional component. It will return an image element and its class name is set to the class name props. And then we can put default classes for the class name of this image element. So I'm going to set the W40 for the width of this image element. Okay, and then we just spread the props object which has the all image element props except the class name. Okay, so now it's a separate image element that just render an image element, but we want it to be part of the compound card. So here before exporting the compound card, we're going to say compound card dot image and set it to image functional component that we have just created. So as you can see, we don't export the image component from the compound card. We just say that this image component is part of the compound card. So now let's go to the app.tsx file and here after the card component, we are going to use the compound card. Okay, and then inside the compound card, we are going to put the compound card dot image element. So I'm going to say compound card dot image. And now we can set the SRC 
props of the image element and let's just copy the src here okay put it here inside the image element so now as you can see here we have our compound card with the image element inside it okay so far so good but our card element also has a title a price tag and also a button so let's create them quickly inside the card component so here after the image function we're going to create a title component so i'm going to say function title and here as you can see I use function keyword to create this child components. I would like to use arrow functions to create a functional component, but here I can't. I use the function keyword to create a functional component. If you know the reason I use the function keyword here, not an arrow function, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so here this title function needs to get the all props of the HTML P tag as its prop. So here I'm gonna put an empty object here and set its type to HTML, HTML attributes, HTML, HTML attributes, and then set its generic type to the HTML paragraph element. So now it can take the all props of the regular HTML P tag. So here we just need to extract the class name as we did before, and also the children, and then put the rest into a props object. Okay, so now let's define the body of this title component. So it just returns a P tag, and let's put the class name here, set it to class name props, and then put our default class name. So I go to the app.tsx here, and copy the class name for the title P tag, okay? I go back to the compound card, and here just paste the class name into the class name of the P tag from the title component. And then we just render the children of the title here inside the p tag so now let's create another component for the price tag so just copy the title here and then paste it here below the title rename it to price and we just need to go to the app.t6 and copy the class name of the price tag and just paste them here okay so let's Put a T here. Okay, we're good to go now. And we go to the compound card component. And just like the image component, I'm gonna say compound card dot title and set it to title component that we have just created. And we're gonna do the same for the price tag. So here I'm gonna say compound card dot price and set it to price functional component. Now we can go to the app.t6 here and inside the children of the compound card we can use the title and price. So I'm going to say compound card dot title and set the caption of the title here. We don't need to pass any Tailwind CSS class here. We're going to do the same for the price tag compound card dot price okay and put the price value here as a caption of the price element so as you can see it just looks like the same of our regular card component and as a last step we just need to create the button element of the compound card so I go to the compound card and here I'm gonna say function button and set the props of the button just to a empty object for now and set its type to let me copy this from the price tag okay we just need to change the generic type to the html button element okay so now we can grab the class name and also the children from the props of the button and put the rest to props object okay now we can define the body of the component which just returns a button element okay set the class name to the class name props and now we can put our default tailwind css classes here so i go to the app.tsx and just copy the class names from the button here and just paste them here inside the button component of the compound card and then we need to render the children of the button here and as a last step we go here inside the compound card and say compound card that button actually it doesn't have to be the same name of the button function here so we can set it to for example cart button a custom name and just set it to button function okay i go to the app.tsx and here just say 
compound card dot cart button and set the caption of the button here. That's it. So as you can see, we have the same product card as our regular card component. It has the same functionality. But if we compare the compound card with the card component, you can see that it is more maintainable and also has a cleaner code. Just compare this component card with this. So yeah, I think that's it enough for this video. And let me know in the comment section, which pattern do you prefer for this card component? And if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you subscribe to my channel, that will be icing on the cake. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.